Okay, the next step in the uh, high tunnel building process, uh, we'll be installing wire channel along our hip boards, along the top of the hip boards. And I just wanted to take a second to introduce this material to you. Uh, it's an extruded aluminum. Um, the plastic will lay over this aluminum and then the wiggle wire will compress in between these grooves here to hold the plastic in place. When we mount these, we're going to be using our tech screws, our one inch tech screws. They have a self drilling tip on them, so they'll cut through the aluminum and then they'll in enter the uh, hip board wood. When you're installing the tech screws into the wire channel, you want to make sure that your screw is centered between the two sides here. Uh, the main reason for that is if you get off center, the head of your tech screw will hang up on the edges of the wire channel and it'll prevent you from getting the screw completely seated down into the extruded uh, channel. Most wire channel, in the center of the wire channel, there's usually a small groove along the center that helps you position your tech screw. So just look out for that and try to make sure that you're centering this tech screw on the middle of your channel. Okay, so for the next step of the process, we're going to go ahead and install our wire channel down our hip boards here. So we're going to install the wire channel along the top of the hip board here. It just needs to be flush with the top of the board. Um, but before we start doing that, uh, we are going to have another piece of wire channel that's going to go up and over this hoop on the very end hoops here. And so before we start installing it down the side, we want to go ahead and allow for that space. So Mark's going to uh, make us a mark here. Uh, on the side of the board and we'll simply start the wire channel down the side from that mark to allow space here for a wire channel to sit along the, the end hoops and we'll do that on the other side as well actually we'll probably cut it to length on that end okay so we're gonna go ahead and start installing the wire channel down the hip board here and uh, you can see that we uh, uh, have the wire channel starting at the mark that, that we just made and I'm just going to go ahead and use one of our tech screws and lining the channel up with that mark and with the top of the wood I'm going to go ahead and come to the end of the piece here right in the middle of the wire channel and I'm going to go ahead and screw it in and then we'll work our way down the wire channel as we go uh, placing screws approximately about every 20 inches. It doesn't have to be spaced perfectly, just enough to where the wire channel doesn't want to pull away from the hip board. It's going to need to be seated nice and firmly so that the plastic doesn't pull the, the wire channel away from the hip board at any point. Now that we've installed the wire channel at the top of the hip board, you'll notice that it's gone past the end of our hip board. We're going to need to cut this off. Uh, and just like at the start of our hip board, where we allowed for room for wire channel to go over the end hoop, we need to do the same here. Uh, and we're going to cut this in place. So what I'm going to do is take a piece of my scrap uh, wire channel here. I'm going to match it up. I kind of want to sit her on this uh, carriage bolt that's here. I'll make a mark and I'll just roughly mirror that mark at the top of the rail. Put on the safety glasses. Then we're going to use a hacksaw to cut this excess off of here. Okay, so throughout the process of installing the wire channel, uh, depending on the, the lengths of the pieces of wire channel that you're using, you're probably going to have several junctions where one piece of wire channel is going to meet the second piece of wire channel uh, like we have here on the hip boards. And I just wanted to demonstrate that junction to you. Um, so what we're going to do is simply butt those two pieces together as closely as possible. 
you can see I already have a tech screw at the end of this piece and it's going to need to be at the very end and then I want to go ahead and put another tech screw at the very end of this piece it doesn't matter that they're spaced uh, a little bit closer than our other tech screws we just want to make sure that this junction uh, sits firmly so that we don't have any gaps or cracks here that could that could cause abrasion on the plastic when we install the uh, the plastic that's going to sit over this wire channel. So I'm going to go ahead and butt it tightly, and I'm going to go ahead and install the tech screw here at the end of the piece. And now we have two tech screws here, uh, fairly close together, and that's just going to make sure that those pieces stay joined correctly. Okay, so the next step in the uh, process of building our high tunnel is to uh, install the wire channel over the end hoops. So that's just going to be the front and the back hoops uh, at the very end of the high tunnel. Um, and to do that, we're going to utilize uh, the bolts that we installed earlier to, to start off the process. So we need to go ahead and remove those bolts. And Mark's going to uh, take this loose for me. Okay, so we've removed the bolt, and what I'm going to do is simply measure from the ground to the bolt hole. It looks like I've got about three inches and a quarter, and do a corresponding measurement on our wire channel. We'll just go ahead and pre-drill this wire channel to match up with that bolt hole. Okay, so I've marked our wire channel, and we're going to use that same uh, a 7 16 drill bit. I'm sorry, it's a 5 16 drill bit to go ahead and drill this hole in the wire channel. Okay, and that should match up with our pre-drilled hole here on the baseboard. And we'll just reinstall this bolt. place the nut and tighten it down and we'll move on to the next step here. All right now that we have our wire channel attached to the base we're going to do the same process here at the hip board. So we're going to remove this bolt. We're going to pull the wire channel tight on the, the wood and we're going to drill through the center and replace the bolt. So I'll go ahead and, and take this bolt loose. Alright, just can pull that out of there, maybe. And on this one it's a little bit different. What we want to do is take our drill bit, run it through the pipe, and right up to the surface of the wood here. And then we want to match up the center of the wire channel right over that that hole. All right. And while Chris holds it in place, I'll drill through the wire channel. We'll reinstall a bolt. Nut back on. Chris, you want to go ahead and tighten that down? Please. All right, now we'll move on up the wire channel. Okay, so we've got our wire channel attached to our baseboard and our hip board using a through, a through bolt technique. And now we're going to bring the wire channel up and over the top of the end hoop here. And so we're just going to use our one inch tech screws to fasten the wire channel to the pipe. We're just going to, we're just going to install the, the tech screw right through the center of the wire channel and down into the pipe. So we're going to bend 
This aluminum wire channel is very flexible. We can go ahead and just bend it right over the hoop here. And put the tech screw directly in the middle of the wire channel. And I just screwed through both surfaces there. And we'll do another one about 24 inches up here and keep moving up the uh, wire channel as we go. Okay, so at the very end of the wire channel here where there's going to be a juncture, I want to go ahead and put two tech screws uh, just side by side to give it a little extra hold on the end where there's going to be a juncture. And I'll do the same when we start the other wire channel from the end here. Alright, now we've got our wire channel mounted on each side from our baseboard up to as far as they'll reach on the hoop. These are 12 foot sticks. These wire channels are 12 foot. So what we've got left here is about four foot of space that we need to fill in with wire channel. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure here right along the top of our hoop, bend our tape down and measure right over to this wire channel here and we'll cut this piece to that length. So. Chris, just give me the end of the tape there, sir. So it helps to have two people doing this so that you can get it pretty tight along our curve here. And then what do we have, Chris? Got a sixteenth shy of three feet two inches. Okay. So we'll go and cut a piece of wire channel that length, and then we'll come back and install it. Okay, so we've measured the, the piece at the peak that we need for this wire channel. And uh, I've gone ahead and marked either side of the, the wire channel here at the appropriate length. And I'm just going to use a hacksaw to, to cut this piece uh, to fit between these, these two pieces of wire channel over the top of the hoop here. Okay, so we're going to fit this piece of wire channel in between the two pieces that we've already installed over the hoop here. So we're going to start with one of our junctures here. We're going to just fit it really nicely so that we have a nice smooth seam here. And again, we want to use two of these tech screws at the juncture. And one more for good measure. Okay, and Mark's going to use a strap here. Uh, this piece is going to be pretty springy, so we want to go ahead and, and secure it with a strap, bend it over the top of the hoop, and uh, tighten it down, and it should fit really nicely there and make for a nice smooth juncture. Alright, so I'll put a few more tech screws in just to secure the rest of this piece and uh, we'll have this hoop installed with the, uh, the wire channel here. 